October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And new this morning, 9 on your signs, Lisa Smith introduces us to a surgical procedure that helps hide scars and ease the emotional reminder of the disease. Jen Steinman is a nurse and a mom. She was 33 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. The first things I was concerned about was, of course, like my health and my family and my children, how everyone was going to be affected. She was also concerned about scarring. You realize that um, this diagnosis is going to take a lot from you and cause deformities and scars that will be there forever. But Dr. Jacqueline Palmer used a newer technique called hidden scar breast cancer surgery. If we can allow them to feel more whole, more normal, and not compromise, compromise the integrity or quality of the cancer surgery itself, well then why not do it? Specially made retractors hold open and light the incision so that the surgeon can remove the tumor. A small hidden incision is made beneath the breast, under the arm, or in the dark area of the breast. So over time, that scar fades into that transition of color. Determining if a patient is eligible for the hidden scar procedure depends on a few things like the size of the tumor and location. It looks perfectly normal, like nothing happened. And she hopes this new procedure takes some of the fear away from those facing breast cancer. Lisa Smith, 9 on your side. Many patients who have lumpectomies and some mastectomies may be eligible for this procedure. The doctor says there's no increased risk and it's usually covered by insurance as well. And you saw Lisa wearing pink. I'm wearing pink today. Real men do wear pink. Here's my Facebook page. Here's the video we put together as I'm participating in raising money for the Making Strides in the American Cancer Society. You can donate. There's a link set up on my page. I posted on Twitter yesterday the statistic I'm going with today. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. So you can make a difference by making a donation. Catherine and I will be out at Fountain Square this mm -hmm. Friday as Paint we're painting the square, the square pink. pink. Yep, yes. kicking it off uh, this big month for the American Cancer Society. We're glad to do it. And we hope that the rain we see today, Jennifer, is long gone by then.